Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Like this video, share it and subscribe because today I want to share three funny stories that people are doing during the quarantine in order to escape the lockdown. This is not life hacks, I'm not suggesting you to do these things because by breaking the rules you put your life and life of other people in danger. Story number one happened in Serbia. In Serbia they have this long lockdown days, like three days you cannot go outside at all, four days you cannot go outside at all. And in this situation people try to find some kind of solutions, right? One man put on a suit of a tree and three days were pretending that he is a tree. So he was going out as a tree. He's genius. <laughs> Amazing. Of course he'd been arrested when police realized that tree is walking. <laughs> Another story happened in Azerbaijan where also locked down, you cannot go out, but if you need, you send a message, you get a confirmation code that you can go out and you go. So number one is pharmacy, number two is work, number three is something else, I don't remember, details. Nice idea, except people start trolling that. First week, half of the messages been sent on this number were uh, trolling, like plain text, like can I go out or to see my girlfriend so my wife will not know about that. Like, obviously people were trolling that. So what they did, concept is, if police stops you in the street, you need to show that SMS that you have confirmation that you can go out from this time to this time. What they check, number the government number and the content. So what they do, you write your friend's name to your contact list as this number. And whenever your friend sends you a message, on your phone, it shows that you get the message from that number. So the standard confirmation text your friend sends to you at any time. And whenever police stops you, you have evidence. You have on your phone a message that says this number, government number that actually is your friend, send you this confirmation. You're clear. Story number three is not so much story how the idea that my friend shared on Facebook. Uh, in Serbia, as I said, you cannot go out but if you have a dog, you can walk your dog. What if you don't have a dog? You take a dog strap with you and go out. And when you see that police comes to you to check what are you doing here alone, you just show a dog strap and say that you were walking your dog and dog escaped, now you're trying to find it. If you're good in acting, you can start crying. <laughs> also amazing. So what of these three stories are the best? I think number three with a dog strap because first two stories are a fraud. In the third story, you are guilty only because you don't have a dog. Because people who have a dog can do something, you cannot because you have a, you don't have a dog. That's why I think the last story is the best. It's amazing, it's a genius idea. Again, I'm not suggesting you to break the rules. Rules are good. Thank you for watching and bye bye.